Rappers and producers, it's Curtis King at CurtisKingBeats.com and today I'm going to create a tutorial to show you how to make your own video meme to help promote your music video or even your behind the beat video or any video in the meme format for Instagram. Rappers and producers, many of you have asked me this question, how do you create your memes for your Instagram? Well, as of late, all of these crazy Instagram memes that have been on my page have been created by my homie Jay and Edmund, who are part of the team Curtis King. Now, before that happened, I had to create my own memes, so I'm actually well-versed in creating memes, specifically in Sony Vegas 13. Now, today what I wanna do is show you some different examples of different memes that may work for you. Either way, I think video memes are a great way to promote your content, especially to strangers who don't know who you are it's an easy way to connect if you're able to show a very clear message in your particular meme now the first one I want to do and there's two examples that I'm gonna do of memes the first meme example I'm gonna do is how do you promote a music video using a meme the second one is a behind the beat video that is specifically geared towards producers let's get to it so the first thing that you want to do let's go to the file and go to properties because we got to change some settings from the default settings first thing you want to do is make your video the properties at least you want to make these square the way you do that is make it 1080 by 1080 and it's a square video next thing you want to make sure you change is the frame rate and typically you can figure out the frame rate of a video that you're getting ready to edit so I added clips already within this particular session and the way that you do that you go to import you go to media and you can just add them from your desktop and you'll have a collection of clips that are going to be included within your meme. And I already did this, but what you want to do to check the properties and see what the actual frame rate is, go to properties and then go to general. And then right here, you're going to see the frames per second. Now, why is that important? Because Instagram and any video platform is very sensitive to the frames per second. You ever watch a video where it seems like the words are not matching up or it seems like the video is really blurry and the hands are moving like almost like those old school mouse trails on, on Windows 95? Well, the reason why that happens is because the frame rates are not matched up with the project settings. And the first thing we need to do is make sure those are set up. So. We obviously already did that and we matched it up. We went down here to properties, we matched all these settings. You can check out these other settings and see what applies. But once you do that, you press apply and okay. And then now your video is square. First thing I wanna do is add my video here. So the video that I'm going to be using as a music video for rappers is this video clip right here. So it's gonna ask you a question. Do you wanna set your project video settings to match this media? And you absolutely do not. It's gonna change how square this video is. So you click no. And as you can tell, there's already a black bar on the top and the bottom of this video. And that looks decent, but the videos that we see nowadays getting promoted within a meme, they typically use screenshots from the video that make it look more engaging to somebody who's scrolling down their Instagram timeline. So first thing that I would suggest, let's clip this at one minute. And the way that we do this is if you pay attention here, this is the uh, time stamp that you're actually on your video. We're gonna use the left directional button and get down to a minute just so we can make sure that it's appropriate for Instagram. Now, typically I think you should go about a second or two before one minute because sometimes your clips can get cut off if they're just a smidget too long. So we're gonna go to probably about, let's just do 58 seconds. I think that can get the point across. Cool. Now, first thing you wanna do is push S on your keyboard and basically that splits up the video. Once you do that, what you wanna click is the letter M on your keyboard and that's gonna be a marker. This is gonna show you basically what a minute looks like in case you want to edit different parts of the video. Here's our marker. You can even rename it, right click, rename, and then put end of meme. Now you don't have to do this, but this is the way that I like to stay organized. Go ahead and delete that clip. If you want to, I have a specific part of this video that I want to capture. So let's go here, drag this whole video here, click here at the end mark, Click S again, and then push delete to get rid of the excess. So now we have a one minute meme. We can export this and be done, or we can make it look even more interesting than it already is. Obviously there's some things missing. There's some text missing, some things up here bottom. We gotta add some more stuff basically. The way we do that is we want to right click here, because right here you have a video, obviously you have the audio. You wanna right click here and insert a video track, or you can push control shift Q. We're gonna do it one more time we're going to have a top and a bottom so then once you do that 
We're going to take the clips that we already have and then add them to their own channel. OK, I typically like to extend these out to the end of the video. And then I'll take this clip and I'll extend this out to the end of the video. Now, you're probably asking, yo, Curtis, where is the actual video? They, they're disappeared. Well, here's what you do to make them appear. First thing you want to do is go over here to the track motion of the first one. And you probably should actually title this. Let's say this is the top. Actually, this is the bottom. And we're going to move these in a second. And this is the top, meaning the top and the bottom of the meme. So once we title all this, obviously, we don't want this clip to be in front. So we're going to take this clip, drag it to the bottom of the music video clip, take this bottom one, drag it to the bottom of that. And now our music video is back on top. So once we do that, our screenshots disappear. How do we get them up here? Go over here to track motion, click on track motion. And what you're going to see is when you click here and then on your directional push up or you can use your mouse. I typically use the keyboard the up directional. Now you can push this up to the top. OK. So say this is the top of my music video, excuse me, the top of my meme. There we have it. Now the bottom, we're going to go back to track motion for this one. Click, drag it down. Now we have these clips here. So to add text, what I would basically do is go over here to media generator or you can go to insert text. Sometimes your fonts are not all accessible when you just put insert text. So I'm going to go to legacy text, take this and drag it. The name of this is my money. This is where we edit the text, obviously. Now to change the color of this, let's change the size of it first. We don't really have to do it here because we can do it in the track motion. Properties is where you add the actual color. So boom. Now I don't like that text. The text doesn't pop out to me. Typically in memes, you see this particular font. Let's take it off a of bold just because it pops out, right? So you can add this. You can even take a sample of the color in the background, which makes it blend in even more. So use this particular dropper. And so you want to take this pink or we want to take this purple. I like that more. Let's actually make it a little brighter just so it pops out more. OK, so then we take this like we did the other clips, drag it to the end, go to track motion. And so once you're in here, obviously you can move it like the other clips that we had in here, but maybe you don't want it to cover up her face or cover up my face. So what you want to do here, go to the corner of this box right here and just push it in, just drag it in. Now you have a little bit more leeway of what you can do with this actual clip and you can have fun with this. You can even like rotate it. So you want it to kind of follow the arm right now. Now, if we do this, we're going to have to change the color. Let's go ahead and do that. Here's how you basically make one of these particular memes. You can even add your logo. So say we want to go back here to the project media and I want to add my logo. I'll go ahead and first right click, insert video track, put the logo over the top here. As you see, we're going to have to resize this in the track motion. Click it again. Resize it. And then there we go. Great way to promote your stuff. Now you can add more information like the name of your album or the name of the song or even like some logos from where the music can be found at, but it's a great way to promote it. Now that's for particular music videos. We're going to go ahead and save that. Let's get to the producers who typically want to create video clips to promote their beats. So what I did was I took one of my behind the beat videos. Once again, you're going to click no. Very similar to the first format that I showed you. So I want to take it from about right here, clip this off. You know, a minute is not a long time, but it gives you enough time to do something amazing. With it. Now you can see a little blur here. Why is that blur occurring? Because we didn't change the properties of this particular channel to match these frame rates. This is 24 frames per second. See that? It's important. Let's go back to the properties. And then go to 24 frames per second. Apply. OK, now the video will be smooth. Now, your video may not be as smooth if you don't have as much RAM as I have. So if you need to click up here and go to draft 
and go to full and that will basically give you a lower res version of this video as you edit it'll be a lot smoother I'm going back to my best though, because I ain't paid for all this RAM for nothing. So we're gonna do a simpler one for this one because people kind of get the point. You don't have to add other clips of your making the beat. So first thing we're gonna do is go over here to our end mark, or as close as we can to it. Click split, then delete. Now we have this 58 second clip. Now for this one, we're not going to use clips like I said before, but I would like to use a white background and some very clear writing that I just very clearly state what this is. So the way I like to do that is once again, like we did before, we're going to right click on the video track, insert that. We're gonna use a white background. Take this, hold down the left clicker, drag it underneath this video so that it's a layer underneath it. And the next thing you wanna do is go over here to media generator Go to solid color, go to white, and drag this underneath. Now you have a white background. Isn't that tight? Drag that all the way to the end. Once you drag that to the end, now you got something that looks a lot better on Instagram. We have this. Now we want to add some text. Let's keep it real simple. Insert another video track. Okay, so this will be the top text. And then add another video track. Let's drag it underneath it. Let's call this the bottom text. So we're gonna take this legacy and immediately I need to change this to black or I'm not gonna see my text. So we're gonna say, watch this producer. I'm gonna change the size of this as we do this. It's just the top meme. I'm gonna go back to the impact font. You can use whatever uh, font that you want. I just suggest using one that's easy easy to read don't make it a cursive font make it something that's really legible and that you can mess around with so i'm going to drag this particular clip go to track motion slide that bad boy up to the top and from here you can even expand the text out look how clear that looks already right so we're gonna say, watch this producer. And what you can do, it's pretty dope, is you can actually click on this first text and instead of doing all the stuff you already did, hold down the control key and the left clicker and drag it down here. It's gonna ask you, do you, this is one or more events you have chosen to paste contains generated media. What do you want to do? You wanna create a new copy of the source media. You don't wanna create a reference. So now you have double the text right here. So what you gotta do now is you basically have to go in here and then finish out the statement that you created for the meme. So I wanna say, watch this producer kill this MJ Michael Jackson sample. Okay, so we're gonna make this a little bit bigger since we know we're gonna mess around with the size in the track motion, go to track motion. Okay, now as you can see, we actually made it too big and Sony Vegas is weird like that. So you gotta make sure that it's within the dimensions of the video. Now go to track motion, expand this out. Okay. Now something a lot of people who create memes like to do, they like to leave space for emojis because emojis get your attention as well. So what I'm gonna do now is add another video track, go to my project media, and then add this fire emoji because why would you not if it's fire? So obviously we gotta resize that, go to track motion, make sure these are clicked on, make it small, boom. Watch this producer kill this MJ sample. Now something I like to do, and actually I'm gonna show you my process with it just so you can see how easy it is, Michael Jackson PNG. PNG are typically transparent. Uh, it's another format of, of photos, but they're typically transparent photos. So say we wanna use this, this is a Michael Jackson sample. See how that has the squares in the back? That means this clip is transparent. So let's right click, save to the desktop, go back here. We're gonna actually import this into our session. Let's bring Michael here, okay? Go down here, right click, insert video track, drag Michael down here. Now look at Michael all over this video meme. So what I would kind of do to, to stylistically make this make sense, I would take the track motion and just experiment with places that I can take this to make it look pretty tight, right? 
Now, obviously, the black in his boots is interfering with the black of the text. So I would probably just do something like this and make it look pretty good. Like that already is starting to get your attention. Obviously, you can have free range of how you want to make these backgrounds look and whatnot. Just seeing things that I would probably edit. And I probably would take this text and make it a little bit bigger. And yeah, I mean, this is it. You just basically have a meme here. You can get as creative as you want to get. You got to add your website to show people where they can find this particular B. So once again, we're going to change that text over to black. We're going to say Curtis King beats.com. I'm going to make the text super small. And you can actually change the, the font on this one just to kind of separate it from things. Well, we don't have to. Let's do impact. Keep it consistent. So once you have that, now we can drag this clip to the end. Track motion. Boom. That is how you create that meme. Pretty easy stuff, right? Not as complex as you would think. Now, the final thing I want to show you is basically how do you export and what export settings do you need to do for this? Well, go over here and click file. Make sure that you've highlighted this whole video like I did right here. You can just double click and it'll highlight around the video clip. Just got to make sure there's no excess on the side. Go to render as. I'm going to save it to the desktop. Now, I have a template here that I use already for my Instagram videos. And you just basically want to adjust it as you look at the properties of the video that you're making a meme of. So, for instance, this one is a 24 frames per second. We got to make sure that matches up in these particular export settings. So what you want to do is go over here. What is it at? IG 1080p custom template. Now, something that I did that was pretty interesting is that I took it from the 1080 by 1080 down to 640 by 640 only because it becomes a uh, compressed version that you control as opposed to Instagram. Sometimes they'll take those higher res videos and compress them and they'll look like the quality is just crappy. So what I do is I basically take this higher quality and I compress it to 640 by 640 so that it's less for Instagram to break down and the video actually looks super uh, better resolution than what 640 by 640 would typically look like. That's the first thing that I did was go to custom frame size, do 640 by 640, still square. And once that's there, we change profile to main. We change the frame rate to 24 frames per second, of, uh, obviously. And then the next thing, we go to none for uh, field order, progressive scan, aspect ratio is 1.0, number of reference frames is two, variable bit rate, 12,500,000, 12 million on this one. You can just check these settings out. Audio settings, project, you definitely wanna make sure that the, vin the video rendering quality is at best. Push okay. Now we're going to call this MJ meme export it okay once that's complete we can go ahead and click open and check it out check us out we got a meme now obviously this is easier for android users to transfer their video over to their phone but for those who are iphone users what i like to do is I would basically upload this to Dropbox, save it, uh, save the video from my Dropbox account to my actual iPhone, get that video, upload it, and get it straight to Instagram. No need to even expand it. It's already squared and it's ready. Quality-wise, the quality should look really good if you follow those export settings, but this is how you create a meme to promote your music video or your behind the beat video or whatever particular content that you wanna make very clear for your audience. This is the way you do it on Sony Vegas Pro. I hope this was helpful to you. If you have any other requests, for tutorials, please leave it in the comments below. But this is how you create a video meme to promote your music. Once again, I'm Curtis King of CurtisKingBeats.com. Have a good one. Please subscribe to the channel below. Curtis King of CurtisKingBeats.com.